see what stands between all of these hearty eaters and victory tonight. of brains, not a pretty sight. Those are cow brains. Now, George, some consider them to be a delicacy before everyone freaks out. In many cultures, they're a delicacy. Others consider them disgusting. What challenges are there to eating brains? Think of it as a pate, a liver pate. It might be somewhat dry, but it's gonna have that consistency. Now, they're gonna have a great deal of difficulty getting this down. I say use the water. This is the finals. Go for the gold. Okay, the eater that has finished the most brains when time is called will become the Glutton Bowl champion. On your marks. an unconventional night up to this point becomes downright bizarre. Take a look at Jornitsky. He is shoving them down his mouth with no difficulty whatsoever. None of these competitors seem in the least bit daunted by the prospect of eating brains. Bill Simmons, look at him hunched over, scooping brains into his mouth. Takeo Kobayashi is eating it in an almost delicate fashion. He seems to have complete control over these brains. Kobayashi again so dominant in the hot dog competition. Look at him, look at Takeo Kobayashi with the swoop. He swoops it into his mouth, he stuffs it in and it pops right down into his stomach. Zornitsky picking up entire palms full of brains, stuffing them in. This is such a different competition than what we, when we saw him down four 32-ounce bowls of mayonnaise earlier tonight. He seems equally adept at brains, and he seems to be picking over his plate, almost searching for the most delectable brain. And don't forget Don Moses Lerman. He himself is making something of a charge. Now look at Chris the Crusher Air, Air Canada. He had so much difficulty getting to this table, and here he is trying. Chris the Crusher Air, you'll recall the wild card winner. He is oh. here and making quite a show, but he's sort of a fan favorite. The crowd seems to really enjoy watching him work. Takeru Kobayashi, look at the dance now. That is physical poetry. This is a man at the best of his game. Look at that dance, Takeru Go. Takeru Kobayashi, from hot dogs to brains, it doesn't seem to matter. He is dominant thus far. Chris, Chris Harris, the Crusher Air he has says no more. The table. I want to draw your attention to Eric Booker, the huge 404-pound, 31-year-old competitor on the end, is going right at it. The Doganator seems to have met his match in a 10-pound plate of cow brain. This is a very interesting race. It appears that Jed Donahue has slowed. This does not have the hot taste of the jalapeno peppers. I think he'd like that flavor right now. We are definitely seeing these competitors slow. The Doganator, Dominic Cardo, you can see him looking at the plate, reflecting. He has to be very careful. He does not want to continue eating if he would risk something else happening. Absolutely. And also take a look at the wing. El Wigendor, Philadelphia wing bowl eating champion. Remember, the end of the match is his portion of the match. He walked, he waited, he used strategy, and that's why he's here. El Wingador, of course, unmatched endurance in the sushi eating contest. And he continues hunched over that plate of brains here tonight. It's interesting. The competitors Tuck check it. each other out, George. They absolutely do. They keep an eye on each other. Takaru Kobayashi is approaching 10 pounds of cow brains, ladies and gentlemen. Let me state, that is a world record. This Oleg may have met his match. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he fought down a mighty, mighty sway upward, ladies and gentlemen. He fought down that reversal, and he continues. I think he needed that burp. I think that was a burp that had to come out. He got it. He's back at the plate. 
Takeru Kobayashi has set a new world record. There is no doubt about that. Jed, the jalapeno king, Donahue, has slowed to a near stop. The Doginator, his head dropped, not in shame, but clearly he's struggling with the brain. Takeru Kobayashi looks up for a moment to assess his competition. Eric Badlands Booker on the far side of the table seems to be going at a good pace. Oleg Zhornitsky appears to be in second, but Don Lerman is right there, neck and neck. We've lost one competitor already in Chris Sayre. Everybody else is still at the table, although the Doginator has not taken anything in in the last couple of minutes. He's staying at the table. It's a noble effort. Perhaps I'll have more room later. Perhaps I won't, but I'm not giving up. But let me tell you something. He's done. How is it possible that Takeru Kobayashi, as you look at that table, the man who is certainly the slightest of stature, could be so far out ahead of all the other competitors, George? He's dancing. He's in a rhythm. He's in a zone. He cannot hear anything. It's him and the food. This is a rock star. This is a professional athlete at the top of his game. He's going to go, and he's going to break records, and he's going to blow people's minds here today. One minute to go. El Wingenor seems to be slowing. We are approaching the wire here. Eric Badlands Booker is picking up the cake. He is picking up the pace. He is not going to stop. Don Lerman is on the sidelines. He's got no more. Oleg Zhornitsky proving that he is Rookie of the Year, bar none. Takeru oh, Kobayashi oh has goodness. just asked for oh, another play of brain. History is being made here tonight in the Barker Hangar in California. I have never seen anything close to this performance. This is unbelievable. This man is making history before our eyes. Even Chris Ayer, who was knocked out of the competition, the wild card round winner, applauding Takaru as he asked for another plate of brain. He is standing back and he is watching the master. Takaru Kobayashi assuming the role that he knows so That is time. Unbelievable. That is time on without question. The prince, the tsunami, the king of competitive eating, ladies and gentlemen, Takeru Kobayashi! We have just witnessed an incredible spectacle in this world of competitive eating.